Hi, I'm Geert, and uh, this is an update of the building of uh, the gas uh, reactor. And um, I've been working uh, on the gaskets because uh, before I used um, the plumbing silicone, and um, after opening, there was always a smell of uh, the vinegar. And um, I always had to wait when I put the uh, silicone on. Uh, I always have to wait for 24 hours when it was hardened. Uh, and uh, then I could uh, close uh, the globe. Okay. Now uh, the uh, gaskets I um, use now, the silicone baking mat. Uh, can buy it everywhere and it's very cheap and uh, very useful. Okay. Now I made uh, the little one too like this. Now I can close up and, um, and open when I uh, want to now without uh, problems or waiting for, uh, to dry. Um, my 3D printer has uh, just finished to make a little part. Uh, he is running for almost uh, every day now. And uh, I recommend you uh, when you make such uh, projects like this uh, that you uh, have a 3D printer, uh, make one for yourself. Uh, it's very useful when you uh, need uh, some special parts. Now, I've been working also at uh, the uh, pressure pressure tanks. Um, I could uh, lay my hands on uh, um, stainless steel uh, pipe, um, and. Uh, I, this is the diameter uh, 80 millimeter, and uh, I cut this piece uh, in uh, 30 centimeter length. I have another three, uh, and um, I can. I have also place on five millimeter uh, welded on it. The bottom to the top made a thread piece, and this is the result. Um, first, uh, I rested it with um, uh, my vacuumed it, and after that, I rested it with uh, argon and did it f uh, five, six times. Uh, the last time I filled it with uh, argon and pressurized it to uh, four bar. Now it's um, without leaking. And uh, now it's almost uh, almost a week uh, that it's pressurized. And that's okay. Uh, no. I'm going to make uh, the other uh, vessels too for um, the other gases so uh, it's uh, easier to work, not that big. Okay. Now, um, I have um, been working also at the uh, first project first concept uh, we had with uh, the magnet head. Uh, it was supposed to be a single core, like now, yeah, with the magnet head in the middle, uh, rotating high speed. And um, afterwards we uh, thought to make uh, a reactor with uh, 
the Caroline core to the inner core. But the concepts uh, I try out can be used uh, with the Caroline core to the center core. Now, this is uh, the first concept with uh, little magnets in it yeah, and uh, bearings in it. It fits in the housing like that. The little magnets are uh, behind the stainless steel. I have another one just uh, printed in here. Uh, the magnets uh, has to be placed in it, right there. Okay. And I have a configuration. This is my uh, motor, 18 volts DC. And um, I have a configuration plate where several parts fit on each other to couple the magnetic uh, coupling to make it uh, rotating here. Okay. Um, I've been also working uh, on the uh, ferrofluid uh, feature. I did a few tests with uh, the ferrofluid. First of all, I thought it was uh, too liquid, uh, too close, uh, from, to close it up from the vacuum. But uh, I still have to do some uh, further testing uh, before I uh, can uh, show you what I'm doing with it. Okay. Now. Um, I hope uh, maybe this week I can uh, give you another video about uh, the ferrofluid uh, tests. Um, so, okay. See you. Bye.